Tom to scaling up your business and succeeding. Are you ready? Well, I just finished a one hour webinar for all of our members. Some of you might have been on it already. So here we go again <laughs> with another hour of some great information to help you succeed in this year. So we have a lot of great information. We've actually had a few hundred people register for this presentation. So I'm so happy to have you. We literally have people from all over the world joining us. And we are also live on Instagram and Facebook and we're on Zoom. So you have different ways to communicate with us. So welcome everyone. And if you have any questions as we go along, make sure you go ahead and add it in the chat so we can answer your questions at the end. So I'd like to start by a fact that not all entrepreneurs are created equally. You guys agree with that? Yes, we have so many different people. And sometimes as an entrepreneur, we get blocked. All of a sudden it's like, whew, there's this wall that comes up. So it blocks our success. And we don't want that to happen. We want to be innovators. We want to be able to implement new strategies. We want to be able to succeed and scale our business. So whatever is blocking you right now could be one of these things here, which are the biggest blocks that we see as we communicate with people on a daily basis. So let's go through them and see if any of those things are actually blocking your success. So if you can hear us, give us thumbs up. If you can't hear us, then something is wrong. You should be able to. So let's start with the first one. Operating at a low uh, capacity for not only space, but team capacity. You have all these people, you're paying them all that money, and they're sitting around twirling their thumbs. They're not really bringing in any values. Anybody experiencing that? Probably. How about this? Not profitable. You work, you work, you work, but it seems like you have these flat profit lines and you're not even paying yourself. You're just working. You basically bought yourself a job. Is that any of you? We meet people like that all the time. How about this one? You're just so frustrated. You're overwhelmed. You're stressed. You're wearing 10,000 hats, doing all these things. And again, you're barely making ends meet. That's a block. We need to get rid of it. You're reinventing the wheel or you're operating under the wing it model because you don't have systems, strategies, structure in place. All these things are success blockers and you really want to get rid of them. You want to be able to free, be free and be able to scale your business. And that's what we're going to talk about today. I'm going to share with you how you can leap ahead of your competition and how you can scale your business so you can have a super successful year. So this hour I'm going to spend with you is actually a preview of the Leap Ahead seminar that we have coming up in February. So I want to give you a little taste of what we're going to go over. I'm going to be sharing a business model that is super effective to help you leap ahead and succeed. So grab a pen and a paper because you will be taking some notes. And if you have questions as we go along, make sure you put them in the chat box so we can answer them for you. Now, hundreds, actually thousands of people have graduated from the Leap Ahead Seminar. And we have over a hundred videos of raving fans of what people thought of the event. So instead of me standing here and talking about myself, all you have to do is go and see the results that we produce. But I have a couple of gifts for you. The first gift is my newest book, Medical Aesthetic Success, Your Business in the Black. You can go to medicalaestheticsuccess.com and get a free copy. And that way you can start implementing. And we're also launching the book gathering in February, where I'm going to go over chapter by chapter the entire book, and we're gonna discuss strategies that you can actually implement, which is great. So make sure you get your copy, and that way you can join us for the actual uh, book gathering. <laughs> it's been a very busy day. So here's what we're gonna go over today, how to scale up. I'm gonna go over seven steps. So I'm not gonna go over each one now in detail, but we're just gonna go over the seven. 
So you ready? Are you ready, Freddy? <laughs> so let's talk about principle one. It all starts with your goals and the type of lifestyle you really want to live. It's amazing to me how many people don't really know what they want. Do you know what you want? Or they convince themselves they can't have what they want because we have this internal conversation going on. We have the devil on one shoulder and then we have the angel on the other shoulder and they have this fight. I did a little thing about the bad wolf and the good wolf. That's kind of similar, but it's the devil versus the angel. So who are you listening to? Are you listening to the person that's crushing you down and telling you you can't do this? Or are you listening to the angel that has you believing that you can do anything that you set your mind to it? So it really starts with mindset. That's the first step in scaling and leaping ahead. You got to know what you want. Uh, one book I read early on in my career by Michael Gerber is called The E-Myth, E for Entrepreneur Myth. It's the classic of all classics. If you have not read it, you should read it after you read my book first, though. <laughs> so The E-Myth talks about having that vision and clarity and exactly what you want your business to look like. If you don't have that, you guys, as the foundation of you leaping and scaling up, then you're not going to get where you want to go. So it all starts with a vision. And when you have your vision and you have the mindset in the right place, you will succeed and you'll achieve anything you set your mind to it. So I really want you to dream and I want you to dream big. There's no reason to be happy generating $1 million in business. I want you to generate three, four, five million dollars in business. And you can because we see it happen all the time. So you got to know what you want. And then I want you to have the ultimate goal. Why are you doing what you are doing? Why did you go into business? A lot of entrepreneurs go into business to have freedom, less stress, make more money, but at the end of the day, they end up being more stress, less freedom, work harder, and don't make as much money. And that's not what having a business is all about. So what's really missing from that entrepreneur is that recipe for success. And that's really what we're going to talk about today in all these principles that are coming up. So the first one is what? Mindset, knowing what you want, dreaming big, getting that vision going. Principle two is assessing your finances. Now, another gift I'm going to give you, I just did our Brewing Brilliance, which is a webinar for all of our members. And we invited some actually public folks to attend it just to give you a taste of what being a member is all about. And I gave them two gifts. One is my book. And then the second one is this assessment document that we're going to send to all of you so you can do the assessment. Because if you don't assess first and then actually make improvements, then you're not going to leap ahead or scale up. And that's not what we want. We want to do both. So how healthy is your business? Have you already done your forecasting to see what you want to achieve this year? If you haven't, you need to. You need to do it month by month by month. Because if you don't know where you want to go, then you end up with this. Anybody can relate to the bucket with all the leaks? Seems like we work hard, we put money into the account, and all of a sudden the money is out. We don't get to keep any of it. That's not a healthy business. So I need you to look at your P&L statements and really see how healthy your business truly is. So don't be like most people, not knowing your numbers, not managing your inventory. That's huge. I was just talking to a high achiever, and we found out that she has over $57,000 in inventory sitting in her facility. Why? Because that inventory is not being managed properly. 
So how much do you have in inventory? So that's a very key factor you need to monitor. P&L statements, the performance-based compensation model. Are you paying too much and not getting what you need out? So you need to have a performance-based compensation model and then produce high profits. You gotta do that. Because if you don't, how many of these do you not do now as I went through them? I would love to hear if you wanna put it in the chat. How many of you don't know your numbers, manage inventory properly, don't review your P&L statement, don't have a performance-based compensation model and, and are not producing high profits? You wanna change that, don't you? That's why you went into business, so you can be successful. You didn't go into business to have all these problems. So what is the solution? This, this presentation is meant to give you solutions. So for every principle, I'm going to give you scale-up strategies. Sounds good? So if the first one, how to scale up, you can scale up by forecasting your finances. You can scale up by produce new sales and reoccurring sales. That's the membership model. You can scale up by implementing multiple revenue streams, scale up by monitoring your spending, and scale up by having accurate pricing. That's how you scale up. So are you trying to be the cheapest person in town, or are you trying to get paid your true worth? Where is your pricing? So if you sit down and you monitor and you assess all these financial aspects of your business, then you're going to be a lot better off. And those are the things that we're going to go over during the Leap Ahead seminar. I'm going to be sharing with you. It's a two-day event. And by the way, a little bit later on, I'm going to show you how you can access the Leap Ahead uh, on demand because it's available as a virtual. It has 12 modules in it, two hours each. So there's a lot of content. And these are the things that we're going to go over during the seminar to help you have a healthy business. And that's really what the goal is all about when you go into business is to have a healthy business. So principle number three is implementing a plan and a business model. So when we first start working with someone, usually they just, um, I don't know, I call it the wild, wild west. You know what the wild, wild west was? Everybody did whatever the heck they wanted. There was no law and order. <laughs> it was like, whatever you want to do, you can do. And you think your business operates like that now? In most cases, maybe not to that extreme. Okay, I'm exaggerating, but I want to make the point. <laughs> you got to have some law and order. We call them actually the four S's. You have to have systems, structure, strategies, and solutions. And all those fit into this business model that we teach. And that's what I'm going to go over. So I don't have the time, right, this uh, the presentation to really go over each step. But if you implement this model in your facility, then your facility will be able to generate multiple millions of dollars in business. It's all laid out step by step by step of what needs to happen to really scale up your business. So instead of winging it and trying to reinvent the wheel, all you have to do is follow a formula and you'll be able to actually reach the success that you want. Mo some of the most important parts in this, I'm going to go over in upcoming principles, but it's very important. I want you to get it in your mind that you have to have a proven, effective business model. So it's who you listen to and who's going to help you achieve the results. And you know, for the past 22 years, I don't know how familiar you are with us or what we do. You know, I'm broadcasting this out of our studio in Daytona Beach, uh, Florida. When the pandemic hit, the very first thing we did is build this studio so we can reach you and help you in any way we can. But we have spent the past 22 years perfecting this business model so you can just implement it and reach the success that you want. And everybody that has implemented it was able to actually do that. Let's dive into uh, principle number four, which is marketing. A marketing machine. Do you have a marketing machine? 
Do you know how many leads you need to generate on daily basis to reach certain amount of revenue for the month? If you do, great, congratulations. If you don't, then you need to. You know the word here, predictable leads? We need to know if your marketing efforts are actually paying off. Do you even know how many leads are you generating? A lot of people don't know the answer to that question, nor do they monitor what, what is coming in on a daily basis. A lot of people operate their business like this, actually. They just going through the motions. Again, you're wearing all these hats and you don't have time to even think because you're a provider, you're the marketer, you're the consultation person, you're the finance person. You're trying to do all these things. And it's hard. It's very hard to do that. So to really succeed, you need an entire team. So the team, the first part of the team is the marketing team. So how good is your marketing team right now? And by the way, this assessment that I'm giving you, I just went over you know, all the members with what they need to do, but this is such an important document to really tell you how you are doing with your marketing efforts. So if your marketing efforts are paying off, great. If not, then you need to be able to know, first, are you targeting the right audience? Are you generating leads? And how much are those leads costing you? If you don't know the answer to these questions, you really are not doing it correctly. So how can you scale up with your marketing efforts? The first thing you wanna focus on is who are you attracting? Are you attracting people that can afford what you do? Or are you attracting people that are you know, barely making it themselves and you're trying to sell them cool sculpting at $4,000 an area. So you have to really attract the right person, right? So is your marketing company clear on who your target market is? And if they're not, and if you're not selling, that means you either, you either have the wrong audience in front of you or your team does not know how to convert these leads into clients. So this is key right here, attract the affluent. I was just telling the other group, uh, we have the millionaire circle available on demand too, not only the leap ahead, but also this one. So if you see that your marketing company is not doing good by you and attracting the affluent, then you might wanna go watch that on demand millionaire circle, it's available on the shop, and then be able to take that information and apply it makes a big difference. Hiring an internal marketing person and then implementing a lead conversion system. So if you focus on marketing, you're going to be able to have the right audience. And if you don't have the right audience, it's like trying to get blood from a rock. No matter how much they like you, trust you, love you, they're not going to be able to buy from you. So you have to make sure you have that right lead in front of you. So focus on your marketing efforts to be able to scale up. So principle number five is predictable revenue per hour. You know, not many people track that. So if you have, uh, I don't know how many rooms you have in your place, but if you have, let's say three rooms or four rooms, how much are you generating per hour from those rooms? Do you know? Or how much should you be generating from per hour, excuse me, from each room? So we're only open so many hours, and we have to really look at how much revenue we can generate during our hours that we're open and based on how many rooms we have. So there's a capacity calculator that you can go and download from the homepage of inspirationmanagement.com and that capacity calculator can actually help you determine how much revenue you can generate per hour. And I want you to picture that amount on the door, like each treatment do door can be uh, $100,000 a month, you know, that's a million dollars, let's say a year out of one room. And if you're really not generating that, um, one of my team members today was doing a success planning session with someone 
and the lady she was speaking with had four rooms and they were averaging about 75,000 uh, a month in revenue. You could do 75,000 a month from just one room. So she has three rooms sitting there getting wasted. So you need to know those numbers. And the more aware you are of what you could generate, the opportunities that you have, the more you're likely to achieve them. But if you don't know those numbers, which a lot of people usually don't, then you're settling for just whatever comes in. And if you settle, you're not going to get to be as good as you can. I know you could be. So you need to know those numbers and truly know where you are. Um, there's a dilemma in our, in our industry, and it seems like everybody gets comfortable. Um, I was talking with a High Achiever member today, and they were telling me about a, a friend of theirs that was working for this uh, medical spa that was very inexpensive. So they worked everybody like crazy. The girl was doing like 25 treatments a day, just one after another. Their prices were so cheap, so they were w working them like a sweatshop. And, you know, the person just is kind of going through the motions. And then you have the other extreme where people are just sitting around doing nothing. Either way, sometimes we get too comfortable. And we really need to get out of that comfort zone and try doing new things, try new strategies, try to make more recommendations, try new systems. When you get comfortable, you're just gonna, you're gonna flatline. You can't be comfortable when you're a business owner. You have to always innovate and change and adapt and be, be uh, strategic because when you do that, then you're gonna be a lot better. So you really need to get your team members to sell. And that's what I'm talking about here with getting out of the comfort zone. Because if your team is not into selling or recommending, whatever you wanna call it, then they're not giving you the value that you deserve. And you really need value from your team. And if you don't have it, then you may have the wrong team. But either way, you need to really get them to step out of the comfort zone and start making recommendations. Because if we don't make recommendations, we're not gonna reach the goals that we really need to reach. So I have this little uh, capacity chart that I was talking about to you. I just wanna share with you an example. You should really go and download it. It's right on the home page. You can download it and while you're there, you might as well reserve a success planning session so we can help you. So this is your capacity calculator. And let's say you have 173 hours available per month. And let's say you just have one room. I'm just gonna make an example for one room. And let's say your volume per treatment is $1,000. So every treatment, uh, this is per hour actually, $1,000 per hour out of that treatment room. So that's $173,000 that you can do if you're at 1,000 DPG, 173,000. So you could really do, if you're really good, not only one million, but you could do $2 million out of one treatment room. That's at 100% capacity. That's saying you're busy hour on the hour on the hour at $1,000 an hour. Now let's take it to 50% capacity. So you're only busy half the time, half the hours. That's still a million dollars if your average per hour is $1,000. Now think about it. Your average Botox client is spending what, $400, $500? So that's really two Botox clients an hour for you to do $1 million out of one room. One room. Isn't that incredible? That's not counting fillers. That's not counting threads or multiple modalities. That's not counting microneedling. That's not counting any of that. That's your opportunity. So if you're doing that already, congratulations. If you're not, you're capable. You just need to be able to know how. And that's really why you would tap into what we teach because we can get you to here. And that's very important. All right, so let's go into principle number six. 
So then that's building a high performing team. You know, there's a lot of people that tell me, well, I'm happy being a solopreneur. I just want to go do my own thing with my studio room and leave. And that's fine. I mean, as you just saw, you can do a million dollars. And we do have solopreneurs in our community that generate a million dollars in revenue a year. That's great. But we're talking here about leaping ahead and scaling up. And to do that, you need a team. When you have a team, then they can help you grow more. The more team members you have, the more revenue you should be able to generate. So you have a decision to make. Do you want to stay as a solopreneur and just do your thing in your room? Or do you want to leap and then scale up and be able to have a multi-million dollar facility? That's your choice. And it doesn't have to be a very big facility. You could really do this out of three or four rooms. It doesn't have to be 10,000 square feet by any means. So there are opportunities no matter what you decide to do. That's up to you. You want to be a solopreneur or do you want to be an entrepreneur with a team? Now, if you decide the latter where you're going to have a team, then you need to be able to train them because the team is not going to come already trained. They all need training. Even championship teams need training. Like if you look at any sports team, they all have coaches, they have practice, they have plays, they watch videos, they improve, they're going to boot camp when the season first starts. So there's always training that needs to take place. So if you want to be that solopreneur, that's great. But if you want to have a high-performing team, then you really need Metz Bobbiz University. That is where we house our entire business model so you can actually give the training to your team instead of you having to create it. And then you can really leap and, and scale. But even if you're by yourself, you still need to know how to actually uh, generate even the million dollars a year. So either way, it's very important to invest in your training. So principle number seven is measuring and improving. So to me, that, that's why they play a game, right? Could you imagine playing the Super Bowl without keeping score? Does that happen? No, there's always a team that wins and there's always a team that loses. And how we identify the winners from the losers is by keeping score. So I wanna ask you, are you keeping score with your team? Does everybody know exactly what they need to do? What their expectations are? How much revenue they're supposed to generate for treatments, for retail? How many members should they enroll? Uh, how much in referrals? How many referrals should they get? What their retention should be? Those are all very important measurements that you need to have for your team to be able to succeed. Now, if you don't measure, if you don't have expectations, if you don't have consequences, then you're not gonna be able to reach the success, the level of success that you really want to reach. So it really all depends on where you want to be, back to that principle one, with the mindset, the goal, the lifestyle that you want, how much you want to work, how little do you want to work, do you want more people to help you? Those are all decisions that you need to make as an entrepreneur as you move through these seven principles that we just talked about. So if you have a team uh, with you, I would love to know in the chat box how many people have team members or don't have team members. And if you have questions, uh, again, please submit them. But here's my thing. You can either reach success fast or you can reach success slow, right? It's, it's your choice. So to scale up, you have to move fast. You always have to measure. 
if you're moving slow like that turtle, then it's going to take you forever to reach the level of success that you really want. Now, I don't know about you, but I'm extremely motivated. I'm very high energy. I always want things to be done yesterday. I drive my team crazy sometimes because they're too slow. <laughs> and I'm just ready to go. Let's go. <laughs> Let's get things done. And it, it, there's no time to waste. That's all we have. We all have the same amount of time. And depending on the speed that we implement, that's the result of our success. So you can either reach success slowly or you can reach success the fastest way possible. Now, I'm all about reaching success fast. So I'm leaving for Las Vegas. Um, I'm going to my own mastermind meeting. I belong to this group. It's $50,000 a year to go to two meetings. So I definitely invest in my education so I can move as fast as possible <laughs> because there's no s slowing me down. I'm already getting old and I need to accomplish what I need to accomplish sooner than later. <laughs> I don't know about you. So this is not me. Like I have no time to reinvent the wheel. I just want to go to someone that can help me reach success the fastest way possible. How about you? Would you rather do this or would you rather do that? Silly question, right? So the people that do this are the people who are reinventing the wheel. They're making costly mistakes. We hear all about it all the time. We get so many phone calls where they've opened up, went into business, tried it for a while, and now they're like in the red so bad and now they call us. It's like, wait until you're in intensive care and then ask for help. That's not too smart. You want to be on top of your game. If you made a decision to go into business, then you need to have a business model. Just like you went into business to be, whether it's a business school to be an entrepreneur, or you went into medical school to become a doctor or a nurse practitioner or whatever other medical uh, practice you do, you went to school for that. And the sad thing, even people that have MBAs don't really know how to run a medical aesthetics practice properly. This is the truth. I see it all the time. Doctors, uh, entrepreneurs, they don't teach you the model in business school, in medical school, I mean, or business school for that matter. So what we have done over the years is we've taken all the principles that you need to apply in your business and we perfected them to help you be more successful the fastest way possible. That's really what we do on a daily basis, my team and I. So the question then becomes is if you want to get the fastest way, then the most economical way for you to get there is to learn is to invest in your education. So the Leap Ahead seminar that's coming up in um, February, it's a two-day event. It's going to be held in Daytona Beach. And we're doing a great special for you for taking the time to be with us today. And uh, we're going to make the first webinar that I did actually also available for you, the one that I did for the members, in case you missed the first webinar that did, we did today. We did two back-to-back, -back, so one at 3 o'clock and one at 4 o'clock. So I want you to really take some of that information, too, that I shared, combine them, and at least start making some improvements right away. Now, I know we have some questions here, but what I want to do is have you go to the inspirationmanagement.com, go to the Leap Ahead under Seminars, and you'll be able to see all the things that we will cover during that two-day event. Now, on top of that, like I mentioned, we're giving you access to the on-demand Leap Ahead, which is 12 modules of two hours each. Literally, we're going over A to Z, how to run a business successfully. And that's really all you need to take, start implementing, and at least begin your path to success, to scaling, to growing your business, to having the freedom and achieving the goals that you want. I know we have some questions here, so go ahead. Aisha asks, as a sole 
Solopreneur. Mm -hmm. Thank you. I would like to expand to have employees, but my books are not always full. Would you suggest story to start to bring in a team before my books are full? Yes, absolutely, because your team can do other treatments that you're not maybe doing. Are you an injector, or what do you do? Is she an injector? So if, let's say, I'll just hypothetical, let's say you are an injector, and you bring on a team member, then the team member, yes? Okay, so you're an esthetician. So then what I would do is the team that I would expand to would be doing treatments other than what you do. So if you're an esthetician, then I would bring in somebody who does either injectables or somebody that does massages or somebody that does other type of treatments, maybe a laser tech. So those are the things and ways that you can actually expand. So you can offer your clients different things and then you can cross promote. So you're taking the same clients that you have and you're selling them different types of treatments. And that's how you would wanna scale. Great question. Yeah. So if you have other questions, go ahead and submit them. I just wanna share with you a success story here. They're probably one of my favorite clients, Linda and Brianna. They have two locations in Pennsylvania, uh, one in uh, <clears throat> Greensboro and then one in uh, Shadyside near Pittsburgh. So they've been clients actually for, whew, I don't know, seven, eight years probably. But I remember when I first met Linda, she called up our office and she was frustrated with the compensation model that she was offering her team. Though they were generating revenue, they were not as profitable as they needed to be. And the plastic surgery center, her husband is a plastic surgeon, was basically supporting the medical spa. Well, Dr. Lazaro got fed up and said, listen, why am I doing this? I'm not making any money over here. I'm paying out all this money and I'm not getting to keep any. It's not working for me. So she called up our office, and the first thing we did with them was change the compensation model. So after we changed the compensation model, I went on site and trained their team. We basically restructured, retrained them, started implementing the business model that we teach. They're getting ready to expand into a third location. And watch these numbers. So after the Leap Ahead seminar, after they attended, and you're welcome to go and watch this interview. Actually, I did two interviews that I would like you to watch. They're both on YouTube. One is with Dr. Omani, who uh, built his medical practice, medical spa to over $3 million in two years. And then Brianna and Linda. So Brianna and Linda increased their retail revenue by 78%. They increased their membership. I'm sorry, the service revenue was up by 78%. The retail revenue was up 83%. And their membership, they have over 500 members now. They generate over six figures a month just from their membership model. And it's all, it all started by them attending the Leap Ahead seminar. Then they became members and they've been members, I believe for like seven years. So their business, needless to say, is grown, has grown exponentially. But that's what it really takes to scale. It takes an investment in your education, in your business education. I know many people, they go and they invest in their clinical education, which is obviously great, but you can't just invest in clinical and not business. You have to really be able to do both in order to really scale and leap ahead. So if they can do that, so can you. And anything is possible, again, if you have the tools, the model, to be able to implement and get the results that you're looking for. And that's really what this upcoming seminar is all about. Um, so take a weekend, come down to Florida. It's perfect time, it's in February, and sunny in the Sunshine State. Uh, the event is right on the beach. The meeting room is amazing. It's facing the water. 
and you'll be able to mingle with members of ours because some members are coming. I believe we have about 50 members coming already. We'll probably have over 100 people attend. So it'll be a great event for you to come and learn from us, learn from others, mingle, make new connections, and really leap ahead and scale your business. So that's really what I want to invite you to come to. But here's the best part. So you're going to get a workbook. Your workbook looks like this that has all the presentation material, plus you get a marketing plan too to help you with your marketing. And then I'm going to give you the access to the 12 modules for one year. You'll be able to access the online modules and then your marketing plan. So just go to inspirationmanagement.com and then we're also doing a two for one ticket. So bring your right hand person because it makes implementing that much easier. So you can go back, come up with your plan and start implementing. So you're going to get the online access, you're going to get the two-day event, you're going to get the workbook, a marketing plan, and a two-for-one. So you need to hurry up because we're not going to take more than 100 people probably, 120 is at the most. So you need to reserve your seat. And if you need help with the payment, we can make a three-payment option for you and you'll be able to come and join us. So I would love for you to come so I can arm you with what you need and have the best year ever. You have no time to waste, so it's a perfect time of the year to do it. It's early on in the year, and you'll be able to really get what you need out of it. So I hope that you guys come and join us. So if we have any more questions, I'd love to answer them. If not, it's been a long day. <laughs> questions? Okay, so I hope you enjoyed this. Again, you're going to be getting an email with the, uh, the two links to watch the previous webinar and this webinar. And I also want to invite you to do a success planning session so you can sit down with one of my team members and have them walk you through some of the tools that we have, help you decide which one actually can help you grow your business the fastest way possible. So it'll be a great session for you to do that with. So go ahead and do that and uh, we'd love to see you in February. Sounds good? All right, you guys. Well, thank you so much for being with us. I wish you a great year and let's go ahead and leap ahead and scale up. Let's do it. We're here, here, we're here to help you do it. God bless, and until next time, stay inspired. Bye now.